and kick it off. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of A Couple's Thing. When we touch on a couple of things, today we are gonna be talking about porn and your relationship with porn and porn in a relationship. Ooh. And how we feel about porn now versus then. Yes. Because I think your opinion has changed. I think it was like our first episode, right? Yeah, it was It was actually our second episode. <clears throat> second episode of A Couple's Things. Ever. About two years ago. Yeah. About 20 pounds ago. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, we talked about porn in, in our relationship and how we felt about it. I know I mostly said like it is what it is that's just what guys do that's what we do it has nothing against the women that we're with it's not like we're lusting over other women but which you are but it's like it's not it's not that serious mm -hmm. that's just porn that's just something on the screen you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying and yeah i thought that before because i'm just so used that's just the norm that's how you grow brought up with yeah. just porn right there i have a question that's just though what you do as an adolescent i have a question for you um, did your father have a talk with you about pornography at a young age or actually sexuality at all? No. Okay, so <laughs> I feel that that may have a lot to do with it also because you just didn't have anyone. Did your mom? No, not really. You didn't have, have like the sexual big, the guidance. sex talks, but it was like, it wasn't taboo or anything, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, it was if it wasn't spoken about, right? Yeah. Because that's the thing, I feel like if, if it wasn't taught to you, how did you learn about it? The same way I guess they probably learned, and that's why they passed it down, of like just learning from experiences and your friends and just... I well, know, I have media, to say, movies, whatever you see. then you turned out really well because, like, mm -hmm. I feel like if a guy doesn't get structure and I had an older on that, brother too. that, yeah. that helps. Uh, okay, so he taught you, so someone did teach you. Well, not teach me, but it's just they're they are learning quicker in yeah. school and sex ed and stuff like that, and you know. So talk he was telling you about it. Things, yeah, but okay. it wasn't. It was just confirming my curiosities, like okay. he'll have the answers, so yeah. I didn't have to go to the parents, kind of. But looking back at just like how you just go straight into porn and never, and you don't think about it. You think that's just what you do. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you're a kid, you have these urges, you watch porn, you jerk off, and then that's it. And it's like this big secret when you're like between 9 and 13 years old. And yeah, so it's always a secret, so it always feels like it's shunned upon, and you always feel guilty for doing it as a, as a kid because you feel like you're just not supposed to be doing this, discovering yourself, and this is nasty. And, yeah. And then do you just, feel like you've carried... goes away. I was going to ask you that. Do you feel like that guilt has carried on into your adulthood? Yeah, it never goes away. Every guy will tell you this, every man or even woman. Like, after mm -hmm. you masturbate and you nut, you just feel disgusted. Yeah. And you're just like, why did I do that? Or mm -hmm. why did I think that? Or all this stuff. But it's like, but why? I think it's, I don't know where it comes from, but I think it's probably just something that's been so hidden mm -hmm. that people have learned to... Learned that it is something that is done, but it's something that you keep secretive and that you don't have to spill on. Mm -hmm. So it's like the idea that you're hiding something that people know exists among masses. And it's, and it's weird because that just goes into hiding anything sexual too, whether yeah. it's molestation yeah. or just different urges, maybe for the same sex. And it all comes with just shame for some reason. That's because so true. it's probably not just talked about and just open within maybe your family or society, I don't know. How, now that you feel the way you do about porn, mm -hmm. how do you view sex today? And how has it, whatever that answer is, how has it helped or hurt our relationship mm. with what you've learned? Like sex, I see it as me having an experience with somebody I'm truly connected with. Mm -hmm. That's how I view it now. And we could just, and I'm not talking about it has to be a relationship, you have to be with that person, but you have to literally vibe with this person and connect with this person for some amount of time yeah. to exchange energies, because I see more as energies. And if you're sucking something out of me, which is pretty much semen, Jesus and it's Christ. going, but for real, like, <laughs> for real, if you really think about it, so you're sucking this energy out of me, like, you have to be deserving of it, because we're... We're mixing energies, and I can't have you just bring me down. Because, you know, you're always attached to somebody after you have sex with them. Yes, and so. a lot of people don't think they are. They, they think that's like a fictitious thing. It's not as ego-driven for me anymore. Okay, beautiful answer. <laughs> because before, it's more like, I got to be the best fuck. I got to be the best and, and do it the hardest. Yeah, and, and the best. And I always wonder when guys say that, better than who? I kind of want to get into further what I was saying. Um, 
And with the, <laughs> with the, just the physical aspect of it, yeah, it's not an ego thing, so I'm not trying to outdo myself or outdo this. It's more about listening to your cues and listening to your body and just having the experience and just enjoying the experience and being completely in the experience instead of just trying to either get your nut up, get my nut up, or just smash it and just Dash. go crazy. <laughs> like, it, it, that don't mean nothing. It's all about the connection and, like, making sure you're into it. Yeah. Because I don't want you to just be forced to have sex with me and then just to have it and it's just bang, bang, bang for me. Like, it's just, I think that's just corny. So it's not about me. It's about the vibes. It is about the vibes. <laughs> and, like, what are your thoughts around pornography today? Today, I honestly, I stay away. I felt that the more I'm like connecting spiritually, like I don't like that vibration in me. I don't like that guilt feeling. I don't like hiding it from you mm -hmm. or like, it's just like- I He just, doesn't have to hide it from me, by <laughs> the way. He, he doesn't. But I, I just, it's always gonna feel like you gotta hide it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just don't like that feeling anymore. I'd rather, Anytime I um, get off, I want it to be with you, honestly. Okay. Because, and I f feel like just on a spirituality level, like I just feel like, it's like you're looking at a screen and then you're nut into the screen. So this person on the screen is making you nut and they're like exuding that energy from you. And like, you don't, I feel like you don't get that back. And that's mm. why you feel that guilty. Like, cause it's just this strange, nasty thing on my phone, probably a scene that, it's and it's always, not, and it's not even nasty. Let's not say that. No, 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 but is, but but you feel nasty because yeah, yeah. you're probably on a fucking toilet watching it in the fucking dark and shit. Like is that, <laughs> he just gave himself away. <laughs> no, I don't do that. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like you're hiding it, honey. <laughs> what about the other part of it? Like for me personally, I think of. I wasn't aware that when you watch pornography, I thought, yes, it's real, as in it's people actually having sex, yeah, but stuff. I always thought that it was like in a studio or people mm -hmm. that signed off on it being there, yeah. and that's how we had it available to us, but literally 2020, I just learned, and I think you did too fully, mm -hmm. that a lot of the videos that are circulating the internet that are on, the certain websites that everyone loves to go to and use for free, those are videos of real individuals a lot of times that are actually being held against their will and being sex trafficked. And a lot of them are real rapes. And like I was doing research yes, maybe um, a while ago, just looking was into- it you porn got in trouble for that or something? What is it? Pornhub. Pornhub. There Pornhub is one of the biggest ones. Mm -hmm. And they actually, this girl has been fighting, I think it's been eight years or six years, to have her rape removed because she was sex trafficked and she was underage and it's like circulating and has millions of views yeah. and like it's disgusting. And it's so easy to upload. That's how like you have like revenge porn and stuff. Anybody could just upload yeah, a video they got on their phone with their ex and then you gotta go through all this to get yeah. it down. Like but it's up there, people and, see it. And that's why I think like if if porn were to be an option, it would have to be like a mutual decision, I feel, mm -hmm. between people. Like, make it fun and not something that is like. I feel like some people don't know when too much is too much. Yeah. Like, some people just think it's a go to all the time because it's so very accessible. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's actually hurting everyone's brain yeah. even more yeah, so. Yeah, because I think we're so. Desensitized. Yeah, and easily stimulated. And so, like, everything is at. A reach for us now. Mm -hmm. So if I'm horny, I can just look at porn and boom, I'm good. If I'm hungry, I press a button, food comes to me. Yeah. So it's so, everything is so accessible, but you gotta understand, like, just stop those urges. So my thing now is I'm just trying to think, I'm not trying to um, sexualize you as much. Yeah. I'm trying not to think of sex that much because a guy just, it's just so second nature that just sex goes through your head like all day every day so i'm just trying to get away from those thoughts and like why do we think of sex every day what is it and and it's not an issue and even every day but just like too much and like why yeah so i'm just trying to get to the why of everything so like every time i have the urges and everything i just stay away and see and then i just focus on something else and then you forget about it like you didn't have to do that yeah if you don't it, it just had just look why yeah. And just, you don't have to go on every urge. If you eat every time you're hungry, you'd be 300 pounds. 
That's true. <laughs> no, you have, you're making points. I just feel like I want to let the people know that this is not a, a frowning upon sexuality and, and no. having sexual urges. It's just more so like this is all about being more in the moment, right? Yeah. This is more so about, okay, I know for a fact that what I see in pornography, all these videos, they are fantasies. They are like things that you can do, but it is not every day. And I believe that there are guys out there that believe, and women as well, that believe that pornography is what is supposed to happen in a relationship every mm -hmm. single day, every <laughs> single time you have sex. It has to be to a certain magnitude, or that means like, oh, it's nothing. Yeah, and... oh, that's another, that's a whole other thing. Like, I feel like so many conversations that we've been having revolving pornography, my mm -hmm. issue with it and stuff like that, it has never been an, a jealousy thing or it, it has literally revolved around it just the focus that was being put on all these other women. And I feel like the biggest line is like, oh, it's not real. Like, mm -hmm. this isn't what I like. But think about it. Do you search what you don't like? <laughs> are, you, are you masturbating to the opposite of the things you like? Because then wouldn't that be weird? And that's, yeah. that's literally what he was telling me for a long time. And I was just like, I don't understand your argument. Like, you're, you're going to what you're into. And all of it is so far from everything I could have imagined, you know what I mean? So it started to make me self-conscious and make me believe like, yo, I only matter sexually if I'm doing those things. And I thought about it that way for so long. And I was like, why is it that every time you have sexual intercourse with a man, whether it be your boyfriend, husband, or a one night stand, why do they have to get finished? all the time and it doesn't matter where where the woman is at in that moment it's just none of her sexual desires or endings matter it's only the guys and that's not right and i think that has a lot to do with pornography control and masculinity mm -hmm. three. yeah it's not it's nothing against porn i'm just i'm just questioning why and everything and why am i i need to watch porn or you or if you're just not home. Like that's the first day we run to and shit like that. What is that? <laughs> because I, like I don't know, but I'm like I, I like to experience more with you. You're the person I want to be sexual with. Why am I hiding? Why am I doing things? Yeah. I don't have to masturbate. I have you right here, and we could just watch it together or just yeah, just vibe and just please each other. I love it. All right, we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs>